Okay. One. Are we rolling? Yep, rolling. Okay, uh, Armando Fox here with SAS TV once again. I'm at the Computer History Museum. We just watched a screening of the 8-bit generation, and I am here with Chuck Pedal, the designer of the 6502 microprocessor, which many people, including me, believe was really responsible for kickstarting the whole PC revolution. And I think Chuck saw a lot of what we now see as the Internet of Things and computers and microprocessors everywhere. I think he saw that many years before a lot of other people came to see it. I have been fortunate enough to get him to give some career advice and a little bit of the vision to everybody out there in the internet. So, Chuck, career advice, your vision of the internet, your vision of computing. Well, by the way, none of us got the internet right at the beginning, right? I mean, seriously. Gates, I, well, you know, I wasn't there. Gates, you know, didn't believe in it. The whole lot of, you know, I've been accused of not believing in it. You know, I, that's not really true, but, but it's developed its own life about six times now. So. I can't tell you what the internet's going to do because nobody can. It's but I think you, made a, you had a great quote inside okay. about the Philosopher's Stone, and oh, I thought no, that no, really okay, resonated. I want to talk to the people who are going to write code, okay? There they Just are. simple discussion. When you sit down at a keyboard, you have an opportunity to do what the Philosopher's Stone was supposed to do, turn dross into gold. People have created so much value sitting at a keyboard in their bedrooms. They were sitting at a keyboard with a vision. Right now we got teams doing this stuff. But you start with what you believe in. I know a whole lot of people who have just had an idea. I mean, I know Brickland, who did the visit count, the spreadsheet, right? Well, no, it was the first program that wasn't on any other kind of computer. That's right, the, X, the spreadsheet yep. was a brand new idea. And they did it because they wanted to. So what I'm telling you is if you really want to be successful, you've got to have a vision, okay? You've got to have the ability to hang in there and make it happen. And remember, when you're writing code, you're creating new value. If you can't do it by yourself, get some help, right? Because there's plenty of help around it, people that don't have the vision, and they'd love to help you make your vision happen. And right. as somebody who cut my teeth on the 6502, I want to thank you and all the people that you worked with for helping make that dream possible. Ladies and gentlemen, Chuck Peddle, thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks.